What's good everybody, welcome back to my spaceship. Um, in this video we are going to talk about how I created these meshes. This is a geometry node setup. Um, you can really experiment with this and get a lot of different results with this setup. So let's get into it. Okay, let's start off with creating us a new human with the human generator. We're going to use a male model, choose one and create new human. Okay, let's delete the default cube. Uh, we don't need the light source, we can delete that um, and the camera. So we only got our human generator model right now. Okay, uh, I'm pressing N to hide the menu. Um, I'm going to open up the human generator tree and selecting the body and with shift D I'm making a duplicate of it. Um, let's hide the first one so we only got one body uh, visible right now. Um, let's get into edit mode. Uh, I want to separate the head. Uh, we only want the geometry nodes to affect the head. Um, I'm pressing 3 to um, use the face select mode and I'm selecting a loop somewhere around here, delete it, um, pick a random face on the lower part of the body and um, press Control L to um, select the linked faces and X to delete. So now we got our head um, duplicated. Um, I'm going into the modifiers tab and deleting all the particle settings because as you see they are going pretty crazy here. So just select them and press X. Okay, I'm gonna make the um, original body visible again. Okay, let's drag ourselves a new window. Uh, I want to create a new uh, camera, so we got a, a perspective to work with. So um, I'm going into the front view, hit Shift A, um, get a new camera. Um, let's get into the side view and position it a bit. I'm pressing G to move the camera. And let's move a little bit closer. Okay, let's use this for now. Okay, let's create a geometry node. So for this we need to select the head. Let's duplicate our workspace. So right click on it and duplicate. We can change this one here to geometry nodes. I'm pressing N to hide the sidebar. And click on create new. Okay, let's get into the geometry nodes. Okay, I'm gonna make the preview a little bit smaller. Pressing T to hide the menu. First thing we need is a subdivide mesh. Plug this in here, you can um, put the level to zero for now. We're gonna use this later. Um, the next one is a merge by distance. Plug this in here and give it a distance of 21.6. And we need this again, so um, duplicate the merge by distance and plug it um, in, the, in the end. Here the distance is 0.1. Now we need a dual mesh. Plug this in the end. And extrude mesh. to curve and a curve to mesh. Now we can also use the set material for later so we can assign a material. Okay next thing we need is a noise texture. So search for noise texture placing this around here, change this to 4D, um, the W to 0.1, the scale can be 3.1, detail 4, and the rest is fine. Um, we can plug the factor into the merge by distance selection. And let's create a color ramp, plug this in here, 
and we need a math node. Change this one to uh, greater than. Plug the um, color ramp into the value and the value into the selection. Let me position it somewhere around here. And now we are going to duplicate this one, change the value to the threshold value to 0.3 and we're going to plug the color wrap also into the value and this value into the second um, merge by distance. Okay, let's uh, duplicate our color ramp, place it here, um, get the noise texture in the color ramp, this color ramp into the offset from the extrude mesh. And we need a curved circle. Change the resolution to 3 and the radius to 0 0.0002 and plug it into the profile curve from the curve mesh. So we are plugging the color ramp into the offset scale and change the extrude mesh to edges. Okay. And uh, now we can control the effect with the color ramps we just created. So let's see what happens if we drag this a little bit closer together. And this one too. Yeah, and as you see, you can create really interesting effects with this. So this is the node tree uh, in case you want to pause here and um, take a look at it and copy it. Uh, these are the values I'm using for this. You can definitely play around with the color ramps and also the noise texture values. Um, these can give you a lot of different results. Um, definitely worth playing around with. So I'm setting up a quick scene. So let's change the render engine to cycles. Um, we can also um, decrease the render to 300 and the viewport to something like uh, 32. Um, let's get back into our layout tab. Uh, we create a new light source, an area light. Press G and then Z to move it up. Um, let's get into the options from the area light. Give it a power of 1000. Also going into the color management and change the exposure to minus two. Uh, we can we can change the value of the area light to 500 or maybe even lower, like 200. I'm gonna move it up a bit get into the front view, duplicate it. Let's get a light source from the side. And yeah, uh, I'm back in the geometry nodes. Uh, we can play around with our values. A really cool way to uh, increase the detail is um, working with the subdivision mesh. If you put it to two, you can see you got a really detailed mesh. Uh, depending on what device you're working on, it may slow down a bit. So, so let's use level one for now um, to find something we want to work with. And you can change the position of the mesh with the W uh, value. If you drag this. Um, to the side, you can see you can uh, place the mesh on different parts. Yeah. Uh, play around with the color ramp.
these are the values you can play around with definitely the color ramp uh, the noise texture and if you want to increase the um, detail of the mesh you can um, use the subdivide mesh and yeah you get a lot of different cool results um, you can uh, set a material with the set material node here and yeah if you want to bring the um, the crazy parts that are sticking out a little bit closer to the um, original mesh you can use uh, the second color ramp so as you see if i don't use it it's all over the place and if i'm bringing them closer together especially the the black one i can just make certain parts stick out and yeah go back to the noise texture and change the position of the whole mesh And in the end, I'm using the subdivide mesh to give it even more detail. And what also looks really cool is if you hide the original body and only add the uh, mesh on the face. You can hide the eyes and the teeth too. Yeah, and you get something like this. And if you want to apply a material, you can uh, create a new one. Let's delete everything that is from the human generator. Uh, they don't apply to it. So you can create a new one. Let's call it mesh. And you can select it in the set material node. And now you can change the values on in this panel here and they also affect the geometry nodes so just make a quick metallic uh, shader so metallic to one and roughness 2.2 and this this should give you already a really nice looking result and yeah that's it for the video i hope you like this one if you do give it a like and see you in the next one. Peace.